we start off by going to this page here and it tells us we got to pick a vehicle. Sometimes you get warning messages that you're going to have to allow and we tell you about those. And when we pick, a, pick out a particular vehicle, it's going to take us into an update wizard. Now this wizard's got instructions. We've scrolled down, we've looked at it. Let's look at how to use it. First of all, go to the instructions and see what it says. First step is to find your current calibration ID or Cal ID. And you have to scroll down. You can use your scan tool to do this. Once you find your current IDs, then you go over here and you look and you find anything else. Now we look at some of these in black and they got footnotes. And the footnote tells us at the bottom to go to something different. The code here is if it's black, it's going to go somewhere else. The red ones are the ones you'll update. There are technical service bulletins and technical service bulletins are important for you to read and understand. Know what you're updating. Are you changing idle speed, shift points? You need to know that. Then we find our current ID. In this particular case, it's 30, 85,000, and 5,000, 84,000 are the two IDs for our current software. And it tells us which one to pick. So next we look up the new ID that is associated in the same column. That's 30, 87,000, and 50, 86,000 are the two we're going to be using for this particular vehicle. Then we hit select for next. Now what we're going to do next for you is we're actually going to walk you through a live update. Let's see what it really takes to fully update one of these. We're going to go in and do the full programming from the start. So let's go back, start our programming on a vehicle, start our wizard, hit next, and go through all the steps for you and let you see. We're going to use the J2534 as opposed to the manufacturer scan tool. We're going to hook it up to our vehicle and get it operational. And now we're, com we're communicating. It tells us what are there now and what the recommend ones are. We select the ones we want to update. And then we're going to start our updating process. So we've selected one of the three we need to update. We're going to go through and do that update. You follow the instructions on the screen. Turn the ignition switch to the off position. Then you turn it to the run position when it tells you to. Following right along with what it does. Then when you hit next, it's going to start the updating process. And we're going to go and let it run. When we finish, it will tell us we're all done. We're done. We have done a live update on screen for you. You've seen it done. We can now turn the switch off, follow the instructions, and verify the program. Now it's verified it. We have the column on the left and the column on the right. We've got the new. We've got the old. 